A search and rescue mission was underway after a Pike County man went missing. Two people are dead after tragedy hit a Buchanan County, Virginia community. And four people face federal charges related to an alleged drug distribution conspiracy in Floyd County. And it all happened this week. Welcome everyone to This Week, I'm Sean Allen. For the next half hour, we'll catch you up on the news you may have missed and give you updates on the week that was in your hometown. The week started off with a search and rescue mission in Pike County, as a search party spent much of the day Monday on the hunt for an Elkhorn City man who had been missing since Saturday. Family members of 54-year-old Richard Ramey reported him missing to the Kentucky State Police after he failed to come home after an ATV ride. The frantic search for Ramey came to a conclusion Tuesday morning with a happy ending. EKB News was with rescuers when Richard Ramey was found alive. EKB News reporter Shannon Deskins brings you a look at the effort to save him. After three days and nights of searching for 53-year-old Richard Ramey in the woods near Elkhorn City, Pike County search crews finally heard the words they had been praying for this morning. We've located uh, Mr. Ramey, and he is alive, and right now he's on his way to Pikeville Medical Center. For the past three days, members of the Elkhorn City and Feds Creek Volunteer Fire Departments have searched the area, and after locating Ramey's ATV yesterday evening, a couple search dogs were brought in but weather conditions were working against them last night. One thing you need with the, with the dogs is air movement, and the air was so still last night, there was just not a lot they could catch scent off of. This morning, Pike County Emergency Management officials brought the search dogs in again, and just before 11 a.m. this morning, Mr. Ramey was located near the place where his ATV was found, more than 100 feet over the hill which prompted the radio transmission everyone was waiting to hear. And Doug hollered, you know, by the tone of his voice that, that we had found him alive. We was lucky to find him alive. If all this terrain and the weather and the cold weather and stuff we've had the last few nights. It took more than an hour for crews to secure Ramey and find a safe way to get him back up the mountain. Crews consisting of men and women who are part of an all-volunteer fire department. You, all these people that are up here are volunteers. They left whatever they were doing to come up here and help somebody they, they don't know. And after three very intense days of searching, everyone at the scene this morning was emotional as the ambulance drove away. It's just really good when it, when it happens this way, when you can save a life. Reporting from Elkhorn City in Pike County for EKB News, I'm Shannon Deskins. Although dozens of men and women had committed many hours throughout those past three days to searching for Richard Ramey, it was a four-legged first responder who first found him, a two-year-old Labrador retriever named Max. Our hero Max found Mr. Ramey. He uh, started out there around the ATV and kept going over the hill and coming back to his, uh, uh, I guess you would say the controller, the person who takes care of the dog and uh, kept going over the hill and coming back and they followed him over the hill and they found him. Uh, I think Jesse said they started training Max when he was like six months old. He's two years old now and he still trains all the time. He, he recently certified as a, as a cadaver dog and he's working on his uh, certification for air scent to find live people like he did today. <laughs> I think he passed his test. I think he did. <laughs> Max gets a stake tonight. Max is a member of the Kentucky Search Dog Association and lives with his family in Pike County. Tragedy struck the small community of Harmon, Virginia Wednesday as the Buchanan County Sheriff's Department responded to a call of a possible murder-suicide. According to Buchanan County Sheriff Ray Foster, 65-year-old Bobby Harrison Deal first shot 56-year-old Patricia Joyce Fife outside of a home on Deal Fork Road and then turned the gun on himself. Both were found dead of their injuries. Investigators determined that the two had previously been involved in a relationship. Their bodies had been sent to the Chief Medical Examiner's Office in Roanoke for autopsy.
In an update to a story we brought you last week, authorities have arrested a McGoffin County man they had been searching for wanted on charges of assault, criminal trespassing, and second-degree cruelty to animals. According to the arrest warrant, 22-year-old David Oosley of Salyersville was allegedly involved in an incident in which he stabbed two pit bulls with a knife. One of the dogs had to be put down at the scene while the other required stitches. The incident occurred when the McGoffin County Sheriff's Department responded to a complaint in Bloomington. The caller stated that 27-year-old Travis Wallen drove 25-year-old Brittany Bailey and Oosley to their residence. Victims alleged Bailey assaulted a female at the residence, at which time Oosley also struck the female. Court documents allege Oosley then brandished a knife and threatened everyone at the residence before stabbing those dogs. Oosley remains lodged in the Big Sandy Regional Detention Center. Friday, we told you about four people facing federal charges related to an alleged drug distribution conspiracy in Floyd County. 60-year-old Jeffrey Isaac of Detroit, Michigan, 44-year-old Karen Elizabeth Isaac, 21-year-old Alyssa Isaac, and 39-year-old Scott Dwayne Tackett, all of Melvin, are all charged with conspiracy to distribute controlled substances. They were indicted last week, but the case remained under seal until the Isaacs appeared in court Wednesday. Tackett is also charged with possessing firearms despite a previous felony conviction, while Jeffrey Isaac is charged with possessing a firearm in furtherance of a drug crime. The indictment also seeks forfeiture of 17 firearms, over $7,000 in cash, and a 2013 Toyota Corolla. If convicted, the four face up to 20 years in prison on the conspiracy charge, which could be extended to another 10 years if any of the defendants have previous felony drug convictions. Coming up, we'll tell you about a unique class being taken by the McGoffin County High School students and an important piece of legislation designed to aid in the fight against drug abuse has been passed. But first, EKB Chief Meteorologist Lathan Hopkins will be in with a look back at the week in weather and tell us what to expect for the upcoming week. It's all coming up next on This Week. Pikeville Medical Center's Vision Services now include an optometry clinic in partnership with the University of Pikeville, Kentucky College of Optometry, PMC provides diagnosis and treatment of eye conditions for the whole family. The optometry clinic is conveniently located on the ninth floor of the PMC clinic. Schedule an appointment today. Call 606-218-2209. Pikeville Medical Center, providing quality eye care to the region. Visual recognition is so important in so many aspects of not only business, but our personal lives too. Stand out from everyone else. Let iDesign Graphics custom design your logo. iDesign Graphics specializes in signs, screen print, car lettering, digital print, vehicle wraps, embroidery, heat press, banners, and hydro graphics. iDesign Graphics in South Williamson. Open 8 to 6 Monday through Friday. Go in or give them a call at 606-237-6000. From where it happens, when it happens, EKB TV news reporters are on the scene with live local coverage powered by the 4G LTE network of Appalachian Wireless. You get our live on location reports by way of the newest technology available. We've got you covered at EKB TV. From Johnson and Lawrence counties in Kentucky to Buchanan and Dickinson counties in Virginia, from Perry County, Kentucky to Mingo County, West Virginia. Whether the news is in Pikeville, Paintsville, Grundy, or Clintwood, we're there for you with live local reports powered by the 4G LTE network of Appalachian Wireless. Welcome back to this week. Now it's time to take a look at what happened this past week with weather. Quite an active week weather-wise. We started Monday off with some severe thunderstorms. Temperatures, however, all week not too bad. Well above average on most days. Monday, 72 degrees for the high. We saw the thunderstorms move in in the afternoon, and we even picked up 7 tenths of an inch of rain. Most of what fell on Tuesday actually fell overnight Monday night. Temperatures took a hit on Tuesday, 63 degrees. We got plenty of sunshine for the afternoon. It turned out to be a pretty nice day. Wednesday, definitely the best day of the week, 67 in the afternoon and mostly sunny skies. Can't beat that. Thursday felt more like summer 
than spring with an 81 degree temperature for the afternoon high. Saw those thunderstorms roll in in the afternoon and once again another severe threat from those thunderstorms on Friday. Again, most of the rain picked up overnight Thursday night. Nine tenths of an inch of rain, almost an inch of rain, only getting up to 61 on Friday. And with those severe storms on Monday, we even saw some hail in Prestonsburg. This is footage shot from that storm in Prestonsburg, and we saw a little bit of hail on Monday. Looking forward to our next seven days. Still going to be quite active, taking a hit temperatures on Saturday. And then as we get into Sunday, much better. Great day Sunday. Next week stays pretty active with the weather. Could even see a frost next Friday. We'll keep you informed on that. And that's going to do it for the weather this past week on This Week. Kentuckians would be limited to a three-day supply of powerful prescription painkillers in most cases under a bill that has cleared the state Senate on the final day of the legislative session. The Senate voted 29 to 9 to approve House Bill 333, which forbids doctors from prescribing more than a three-day supply of painkillers, but lists many exceptions, including cancer treatment, chronic pain, and end-of-life care. The bill will now go to the governor's desk. Students at the McGoffin County Career and Tech Center are getting the opportunity to take a class that is offered nowhere else in the region. Not only did I get the opportunity to sit in on the class, but I got a chance to get in on some of the action as well. The new criminal justice program at the McGoffin County Tech Center offers students the opportunity to get as much hands-on training in law enforcement as possible, from the criminal justice aspect to health and wellness and corrections. Program instructor Jason Cottle gets the opportunity to share his work experience with his students. I worked uh, locally for a few years uh, with Prestonsburg Police Department. Um, I worked with Kentucky State Police for a few years uh, due to uh, some medical issues. I had to leave the road, so uh, this is my way of still staying with it and giving back to some of these kids and helping them out. Instructor Cottle may teach the class for the kids, but the kids take the class for many different reasons. There's a lot more benefits, I think, to hands-on because, for one, it leads you more experience in the real world. With this course, I think it has really, really boosted confidence because it shows you that you can go up against larger opponents and know what you're doing and be able to defend yourself and be prepared. By taking this class, I feel like we've took our first steps in the life of law enforcement. There's so many things that have changed my outlook at this career field. I've seen the daily struggles, the pain of the job, and what it has to be dealt with every single day. But just as well, I've seen the side of how you develop a care for people. It shows them by just what little mistake they can make, and it can ruin the whole career of their, of their future. And by them taking this course, it shows them how they can become a good police officer in law enforcement. Although not all the students plan to go into law enforcement, they can all now say they have a different perspective. Coming up, Michaela Colley joins us with sports. It's up next on This Week. Pikeville Medical Center's emergency department has immediate openings for NPs, RNs, ED technicians, EMTs, and paramedics. PMC is a level two trauma center and is home to an $11.3 million state-of-the-art emergency department and the region's most advanced medical technology. PMC offers great pay and an excellent benefit package. Call 606-218-4908 or visit pikevillehospital.org to apply. Visual recognition is so important in so many aspects of not only business, but our personal lives too. Stand out from everyone else. Let iDesign Graphics custom design your logo. iDesign Graphics specializes in signs, screen print, car lettering, digital print, vehicle wraps, embroidery, heat press, banners, and hydro graphics. iDesign Graphics in South Williamson. Open 8 to 6 Monday through Friday. Go in or give them a call at 606-237-6000. In times of joy, in moments of grief, we are there. When the world looks for truth, broadcasters come through, even when all else fails. Today, with more ways than ever to experience the moments that transform our lives, 
Americans still choose broadcast television and radio more than all other media combined. Television and radio are still the most trusted sources for news and entertainment. And our web and social sites are among the most visited sites in our daily lives. When important moments happen, both big and small, we're the first informers to history. We are the pioneers, the innovators, the local broadcasters of radio and television, reaching more people, touching more lives. The cat season ended and the red season is about to begin. But before we get to all of that, the Floyd County School System has announced Floyd Central High School's head coaches for different sports in their athletic department. Veteran coach Kevin Spurlock has been chosen as the school's first boys basketball coach. This will be Spurlock's sixth coaching stop after spending 12 seasons at Perry Central, Sheldon Clark, Clay County, Hazard, and Trimble County. Spurlock led Hazard to the state All-A Championship in 2004 and has won 246. Seven games. Current Prestonsburg football assistant Sean Hager has been chosen as the Jaguars first football coach. Hager spent 12 seasons as head coach at Sheldon Clark compiling a record of 60 and 68. He led the Cardinals to the state semifinals in 2009. After leading South Floyd to their best program record in history, girls basketball coach Justin Triplett will take on the same job at Floyd Central. Jason Clark will be the new volleyball coach after serving in the same position at Pike Central High School last season. The positions of baseball, softball, bass fishing, and bowling will be determined at a later date. The Kentucky Wildcats season came to a controversial close this past Sunday. Not only did the Cats fall to North Carolina, some of the Big Blue fan base lost their minds in the process. After Wildcat head coach John Calipari questioned the officiating in this post-game press conference, fans turned to social media to express their angst against official John Higgins, who made what appeared to be several biased calls against Kentucky. Higgins reportedly received death threats and had his roofing company's Facebook page slammed with slan slanderous remarks from UK fans, prompting the FBI to become involved. The Cats finished their season at 32-6. and six. Following the loss on Sunday, freshman De'Aaron Fox and Bam Adebayo expressed their feelings after being questioned where their hearts were with the program. It was tough. <laughs> You know, uh, we had a hell of a season. You know, we went through that stretch and we lost those games. And everybody, to, everybody talked about, you know, how we looked like we didn't care. And, you know, this isn't the locker room that looked like the guys don't care. <laughs> I love my brothers, man. <laughs> and the shot just playing back and forth in my head is, is going to be difficult to get over, but... I know I got to. <laughs> the 141st opening game day for the Reds is set for Monday when the team will take on the Philadelphia Phillies at 410 from Great American Ballpark. Hoping to get right on track this season, the Reds will start journeyman pitcher Scott Feldman against the Phillies for his third opening day start. Injuries have depleted the Reds rotation for the second straight season as Homer Bailey and Anthony DeSclafani are both listed on the disabled list. The starting lineup for the Reds features Billy Hamilton, Zach Cozart, Joey Votto, Adam Duvall, Scott Schiebler, A. Eugenio Suarez, Tucker Barnhart, and Jose Peraza. The national anthem will be sung by Johnson County's own Marlena Van Hoos. Here's Scott Feldman with his thoughts about opening day. Opening day is just a special day. I mean, it's, uh, you know, something that when you're a little kid, I know I spent the whole off season looking forward to watching that first game. So I'm sure there's plenty of fans in Cincinnati that have been doing the same thing. And um, really for me too, I think for players, it's uh, a very exciting time and um, just something that I'm really looking forward to. That will do it for this week in sports. Back to you, Sean. All right, thanks, Michaela. Coming up, a music slash arts and crafts festival slated to take place in Prestonsburg is getting some help from a hometown country duo and will shine a light on an artist as Mountain Music is coming up next on This Week. Did you know that flu symptoms can be treated faster and at a lower cost at Pikeville Medical Center's Walmart Clinic instead of the emergency room? No appointment is necessary. The Walmart Clinic is located at 254 Cassidy Boulevard in Pikeville and is open seven days a week from 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. Take your flu symptoms to the Pikeville Medical Center Walmart Clinic. Pikeville Medical Center, proud member of the Mayo Clinic Care Network. 
Visual recognition is so important in so many aspects of not only business, but our personal lives too. Stand out from everyone else. Let iDesign Graphics custom design your logo. iDesign Graphics specializes in signs, screen print, car lettering, digital print, vehicle wraps, embroidery, heat press, banners, and hydrographics. iDesign Graphics in South Williamson. Open 8 to 6 Monday through Friday. Go in or give them a call at 606-237-6000. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi, I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. With warmer weather coming, festivals are right around the corner. One local band is in the process of getting other local bands together for an all-day jam session, if you will, for a new festival, Star City Music Day. Even though the name of the festival is Star City Music, all types of vendors are welcome, especially those from the artistic realm. Most have heard the saying, shop local, which is the basis behind Star City Music Day. We just want to set a day aside for everyone to be together and, and sort of just create a platform for our, our community uh, to show off all the cultural things that it has going on. There's going to be some interactive art stuff. There are vendors and we're currently looking to fill up some spots about it. I can't promise that there'll be room, but it'll be free. You won't have to pay a fee or anything like that. Star City Music Day will be held April 29th from 1 to 7 p.m. in downtown Prestonsburg. For more information, email event planners at starcityday at gmail.com or follow Sunday Best on Facebook for updates. There's a musical tradition here unlike anywhere else in America. During this week, we shine a light on part of that musical tradition. So now sit back, relax, and enjoy our mountain music. It's time now for Mountain Music, being brought to you by the Mountain Arts Center, the main stage of the Country Music Highway. Friday night and I got another show. Many artists from this region have made it big, but they had to move away from here to do it. There's a lot of talent, obviously. It's for what for whatever reason it's nestled into this area. A lot of people have obviously, as most of us know from the area, have went on to have great careers. Which is uplifting for anyone. The only thing is uh all of these people, they left here. They didn't become famous living here. They all have ties to this region, and but they all left here in order. And so it is tough to live here and, and make, this, make this possible, but seeing these people, you know, that are from where you're from, you know it's possible, um, but you have to work at it. It's not something that comes easy. Sing my songs and I'll make it through the night. Sometimes inspiration for a good song simply comes from being out there and playing. That song is called, uh, basically it's called Paying Dues. Uh, I wrote that song a couple months ago. It's autobiographical, you know. Uh, it, it's showing the side of, of, this, of this life that's not so, you know, not so great and all, all fun and 
you know, and, 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 and life's a, it's a big party. And no, it's, it can be tough. It's a, it's a labor of love. Maybe I'm crazy. Just don't know. The call it paying dues. But tell me, Lord, much do I owe. Much do I owe. Much do I owe. Must you I love somebody tell me Must you I Coming up next, we'll fill you in on a few happenings in your area as we take a look at the week ahead. Stay with us. We'll be right back on This Week. Pikeville Medical Center has earned the Joint Commission's Gold Seal of Approval and the American Heart Association and American Stroke Association's Heart Check Mark for advanced certification for primary stroke centers. This marks the eighth consecutive year for this honor. PMC demonstrates commitment to the care of stroke patients with a complex set of standards and requirements. Count on Pikeville Medical Center for quality stroke care. Pikeville Medical Center, proud Mayo Clinic Care Network member. I knew I could get myself out of this. I just needed some hope and some help. I took the first step to recovery when I made the call. If you're depressed, drinking, and using drugs, you may need help. And the Affordable Care Act guarantees coverage of substance abuse. Call the Addiction, Hope, and Helpline now for a free assessment. I had problems just getting to sleep, drinking, and using pills every night. I feel like I'm losing control. I'm afraid I'll lose my job or even my family. Are you losing hope? You can recover and get back on track. Call now for hope and help with proven gentle recovery programs. I never thought that I could be somebody who didn't drink and use drugs. I have something to hold on to for strength. I'm in recovery, getting the help I need. Call the Addiction Hope and Helpline now for a free assessment with someone who cares. Call 800-876-6387, 800-876-6387. Visual recognition is so important in so many aspects of not only business, but our personal lives too. Stand out from everyone else. Let iDesign Graphics custom design your logo. iDesign Graphics specializes in signs, screen print, car lettering, digital print, vehicle wraps, embroidery, heat press, banners, and hydro graphics. iDesign Graphics in South Williamson. Open 8 to 6 Monday through Friday. Go in or give them a call at 606-237-6000. The EKB TV crew is proud to be outfitted by Embroid Me in Coal Run. Here's a look at some events that you may be interested in this upcoming week. Big Sandy Community and Technical College will host a town hall meeting Wednesday, April 5th from 3 to 5 p.m. at the Floyd County Public Library. The meeting is intended to introduce the college and its services to the community. Members of the college's admission, financial aid, career technical education, transfer education, and workforce solutions teams will all be on hand to provide information and answer any questions from visitors. Country music star John Barry will be in concert at the Mountain Arts Center Friday, April 7th from 7.30 to 10 p.m. Tickets are still available and you can get yours by calling 1-888-MAC-ARTS. 2017 Alzheimer's and Dementia Awareness 5K slash walk will be held in Prestonsburg Municipal Parking Lot downtown Saturday, April 8th. At 9 a.m., there's a $20 registration fee, and you can get a $5 discount off each person when you register 10 or more in a group. Registration on the day of the race will begin at 7.30 a.m. Shirts are guaranteed to the first 50 registered. The second annual City of Prestonsburg's Easter Egg Hunt event to be held at Archer Park Saturday, April 8th from 2 to 4 p.m. The Easter Bunny will be there with 20,000 eggs this year. I hope you enjoyed our look back at some of the stories that made headlines this week. Be sure to tune in next weekend at 6 p.m. right here on EKB-TV. For this week, I'm Sean Allen. Have a great weekend.